Right, so Pokemon Scarlet and Violet comes out next month. Pokemon Company dropped a really big trailer. I think it's like an overview of like the new features and stuff and like more specifics on how the open world is going to function, I guess. So I'm going to look at that. I'm going to try and not, you know, spend like 10 million years talking about it afterward. But I will like watch it and I will tell you my thoughts as I go along, I guess. So we're just going to jump in with that then. So let's get started. All right, everyone. It's almost time to begin your journeys in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Games. I'm going to pick this up Are next month, by the way. You I'm going to see if I can get Pokemon. some friends to play with. Raise them and battle them as you embark on an adventure where the familiar charms of the Pokemon series evolve into a new experience. All right. As a student at an academy in the Paldea Don't mind region, that arrow, I was just doing something. You'll take part in an independent study program called the Treasure Hunt. And you'll search this vast world for a precious treasure of your very own. But hey, at this point, you probably knew all that already, right? Here's something we hope even you well-informed viewers will enjoy. A sneak peek at four particular trainers' journeys in Paldea. Okay. Now, let the adventures begin! This trainer is so yeah, you can just run into Pokemon. Lechonk is a gourmand. I st I, I still find that name weird. Lechonk. Delicious food. Right, so combat's pretty much the same. Oh, look. I mean, I wasn't expecting Why any difference, but. But yeah, here's this game's like gimmicky new mechanic for the combat system. Terastalizing is a phenomenon unique to the Paldea region, but all Pokemon can do it. It adds extra punch to moves of the Pokemon's Terra type. What's that over there? Is that a glowing Pokemon? It seems is that to be shiny? a Jigglypuff. But why is it shining so bright? Better approach it slowly and start a battle. Okay. Whoa! It terrestrialized. Oh, like I this see. This Jigglypuff has the water type for its Terra type. Apparently, these sparkly wild Pokemon will terrestrialize in battle. So wait a minute. If it's already sparkling to begin with, and you run into a terrestrialized, whatever you call it, if you run into a ter a, a crystallized version of a Pokemon, and it's a shiny Pokemon. How can you tell the difference, exactly? Yeah, water balloon. <laughs> it kind of is, I guess. This Jigglypuff seems pretty tough. But Quaxley's Not really, it's only a level 14. Dealing enough damage to a wild Terra Pokemon causes its terrestrialization to come undone. Terrestrialization. Sorry, the... the... That's going to be a hard word for now, me to remember. Throw a Pokeball. Nice. The wild nice. Jigglypuff was caught. Some Pokémon, like this Jigglypuff, have a Terra type completely different from their regular type. You know what I just realized? Like I watched the Mario movie last night and I put the entire thing out on YouTube, like my reaction to it without like flipping the video left or right or whatever. And Technically, it got content claimed by, you, you know, YouTube's content ID system, but it did not get blocked, it did not get ads put on or anything like that, no restrictions. How much you want to bet that this fucking overview video is going to get blocked worldwide by the Pokemon company? I guess we'll find out later. Any Pokemon is capable of having any of the 18 different types as its Terra type. What's this? Quaxley's out there in the world, charging straight toward that Litleo. Looks like Quaxley battled Litleo on its own and won. That's because the trainer gave Quaxley the Let's Go command. Let's Using go, Quaxley. Let's go will send your lead Pokemon out Quaxley's going to be my starter, by the way. Oh, so hey there, Zachary. If a Pokemon gets sent out toward an item, it'll go pick it up. Just like Quaxley here. What a useful command for searching your surroundings. These Pokemon are so helpful, giving their all for their partner. I do love that idea that you can just send off your Pokemon to battle random, like, enemies and stuff. Like, that's a great idea for, like, like for an open-world kind of Pokemon game. I feel like this is a much-needed feature and, you know, 
I hope this becomes a regular thing for future Pokemon games. Next, the trainer opens his map to see where he wants to go. You can set a place as your destination to keep yourself on track as you go. Then we can hop atop the legendary Pokemon Mirai uh, and yes. get going. <laughs> the and fucking hear, legendary dragon bait. Belonging to Team Star, the school troublemakers. Starfall Street, one of the three major stories that will make up your Paldean adventures, will unfold in bases like this one. Time to face Team Star. Our trainer rang the bell and barged into the base. That takes some guts. But things look bad. There are lots of grunts around, and they keep sending out Pokemon. Look at that, you can send out multiple Pokemon as well. Holy shit. Let's go to defeat Team Star's Pokemon. There we go. All the grunts have been defeated at last. But wait, is that some kind of tricked out car? When you saw this, it made you think of Dynasty Warriors. It does kind of look like... I, I could totally see a Dynasty Warriors Pokemon game like this. It is. And atop it is Mela. The boss of Team Star's fire crew. She's obviously tough. It's easy to see why she's a boss. Time for these trained up Pokemon to battle. I wonder if any of these songs in this trailer... ...to see how a battle like this plays out. Sorry, I'll pause for a second. I wonder if any of the, the, the music in this trailer has, like, Toby Fox compositions. Now, let's check in on another trainer. How's her adventure going? Whoa, did you see that? Uh -huh. Check in on another trainer. How's her adventure going? Did you see? Look, look, look at the person behind the counter. Look at their arms. Check in on another trainer. How's her adventure going? What the fuck? Why? Why did their arms go up and down so fast like that? Is that glitch? Uh -huh. She's using the TM machine at a Pokemon Center. The TM machine lets you make your own TMs, also known oh. as technical machines. Using materials Pokemon drop when you defeat or catch oh, them. Oh, okay. Right, I like that. That's a good idea. More incentive now, to, like, gather materials and next? fight Pokemon out in the wild and Seems explore. Seems to be a desert-like area under a blazing sun. Just looking at it is enough to make you thirsty. Oh, her Rotom phone is ringing. Sounds like Arvin, her friend in the next grade up, needs some help. To give Arvin a hand, the trainer's headed to a rock face where a titan lurks. This is one of the stops on the Path of Legend, a story where you'll seek out legendary herbs called Herba Mystica. There it is! A gigantic titan Pokémon! Time to battle! Cloth. Nice name. Right off the bat, there's Icy Wind, the move our trainer taught Drifloon earlier. Icy Wind lowered the titan cloth's speed stat. Drifloon terastalized to become a grass type. This is Terra Blast, a new move that changes type to match the user's Terra type when the user is terastalized. It ought to be handy for a Pokemon with a Terra type different from its regular types. Looks like Cloth suddenly got. That's pretty good to have that. Wait, what's our trainer doing now of all times? Oh, trading Looks like Pokemon. Taking a little break from adventuring to trade Pokemon with a friend. That's cool that you can just trade from here, anywhere. Her trade partner has received Girafferig. All right. Seems like she immediately added Girafferig to her team, and she's gonna let it run around in the field and train up for some battles. Girafferig is a Gen 2 Pokemon, I think? I forgot. Oh. Oh. Could Girafferig be evolving? Hang on. Did oh. its tail become its head? Or is its head wearing its tail? What the what fuck? An unexpected evolution. Seems like Girafferig All right, well, that's has evolved a new thing. into Ferrigarath. In the Paldea region's Pokemon, Ferrigarath. you can see photos of Pokemon that's a very as well silly as name, information isn't it? about them. So you can get to know them even better. Wait, what did that say? I want to read that. Uh, let me go back. Just trying to get to the right frame. The hardened head from the tail protects the head of the main body as Ferrigarath whips its long neck around to headbutt the enemies. Weird. Normal and psychic type. Them even better. Let's check out the town of Artisan next. It looks like one big park. 
Now that the trainer's Pokemon have gotten stronger, it seems she's made her way to a gym. She's following Victory Road, the story where you'll conquer all eight gyms to achieve champion rank. Nimona, the battle-loving trainer who will show you the ropes, is all fired up. Before you can battle a gym leader, you'll first have to pass the gym test at their gym. Better get started right away. Oh god, D did you see the frame rate there? Test at their like, gym. The look at the frame rate of the, for the Sun Flora. Right away. <laughs> it's like fucking slideshow. I mean, I don't mind it too much, it's just kind of funny to see. The gym leader, you'll first have it to almost looks like stop motion. Gym. Better get started right away. Silly. All right. All right, that's the gym test passed. Time to battle the gym leader. So yeah, the whole thing about like doing these little challenges before you do the gym leader itself kind of reminds me of how Sword and Shield handled it, which you know what? I am fine with that. I kind of liked how that game handled like the pre-gym battle sort of stuff. Here comes Brassius, the grass type gym leader with a striking entry. Oh, it's Fido. Whoa. Oh, so this music's jazzing. So Wudo terastalized and became a grass type. His lifelong dream of being a grass area? type has finally come to pass. How's our trainer gonna handle this one? Aha! She's gonna fight back by having her own Pokemon terastalize. Oh, it's a flying type because it has balloons. Flying type. That should give it an edge against this grass type pseudo wudo. I know there's a no there's a an early purchase bonus where you get a flying Pikachu. You'll have nothing to fear. Which flies I by terrestrializing to into a flying type. Unfold between terrestrialized Pokemon. This trainer's heading into a hair salon to spice things up. Right, well, this is stand up wow, fair for Pokemon. options. How are you supposed to choose? Huh. I kind of want to try that hairstyle too. And now to complete the look. Plenty to choose from here too. I feel like I could spend all day on this. And while you're trying out all sorts of styles, oh. you can whip out the camera app and go snap, snap, snap. Looks like this Okay, this is very much Breath style. of the Wilds. The way they're doing this. Snap. Now they've updated their profile picture. Looking back on photos you've taken of scenic Vistas Pokemon Snap 2. It's Pokemon moments, Snap 3. Pokemon is just one more way we already had a Pokemon Snap 2. And now it's picnic time with Pokemon. When Pokemon have gotten dirty from a long journey, a nice scrub and shower gets them all clean. Okay, Looks that's like interesting. You nice can give too. Pokemon baths now? Alright. Before having lunch, Pokemon can get out some energy by playing with a ball. You can just tell how much fun they're having. Oh, wow. Could this be a Pokemon egg? Apparently, eggs can sometimes be found during picnics. So, wait a minute. Did somebody have a picnic there and abandoned their Pokemon egg? What the fuck? Like... There's no reason that would have been there otherwise. That's, and now, that's weird. The that we've been waiting for sandwich time. This trainer came oh, prepared okay. with plenty of ingredients they bought in town. It can be tough deciding which sandwich to oh, make. Oh god, it's it's gonna be Subway Pokemon this Edition. Be a little overstuffed. It might not hold together. Nonsense. You can put more shit on that. Just gotta put the bread on top and finish it off with a pick. Done. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Oh, looks like it's a hit with everyone. Okay. I, I I just want to see that face again. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on with that face? There, it's just like. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, looks like it's a hit with everyone. Eating sandwiches can give you benefits, like making certain types of Pokemon easier to catch, or making your Pokemon gain more experience points. Time for a group photo with these satisfied Pokemon. All right. Where to go next? Oh, hey, looks like more of our trainer friends have shown up. 
So yeah, the whole thing with the camping and like making sandwiches, again, it's like kind of iterations of the stuff that Sword and Shield did. You know, with the camps and the, the curry, I think, in that game. All right. So I'm okay with them like raid battle. Can you know, updating that. Together to defeat the Terra Pokemon before time runs out. It's like that one episode of SpongeBob where he stinks and th that was the fish's reaction. Yeah, it kinda is like that actually. Ooh, Wigglytuff. Their opponent is a Chansey that's terastalized into a ghost type. What kind of fight will the strong spark? I kinda like the terastalized ghost thing of, on top of the the Chansey. Yeah, this song sounds good. Is this a Toby Fox composition? I don't even know. It's really powerful. These trainers better stay determined, band together, and strike back. Like, I think he only composed like one song in Sword and Shield, but I think he's composing more than a couple in this one. But I don't know which ones he's doing. If your Pokemon I don't know if that's known in a yet. Raid battle, don't worry. It can recover and rejoin the fray. Hang in there, Sableye. Along with using your Pokemon's moves, you also have the option to support your allies by cheering. It's all about teamwork. I enjoyed raid battling and like sword and shield, so I'll probably do a little bit of that in this game as well. Almost there. Keep it up. Oh yeah, aren't ghosts weak to ghosts? I always oh, forget about wow. that. That was a beautiful Terra Raid battle victory! And with it comes the chance to catch this Terra Pokémon! When you join forces to win your battles, the bonds between friends and Pokémon shine even brighter. It's quite literally using the power of friendship to win, holy shit. Chansey with a rare Terra type is now part of the team. Wouldn't it be funny if this trailer like subverted expectations and was like, oh, guess you didn't get it. Oh well, guess you'll have to try again next time. So, what'd you think? While you were getting a look at these four trainers' journeys, did you spot a glimmer of something that could become your personal treasure? Encounters with Titan Pokemon? Face-offs with Team Star? Taking on gyms? There's plenty more to be said about all these things, of course. What you just saw was only a glimpse of the adventures awaiting you in the Paldea region. Which Pokémon will you choose? Who will you meet? What sort of exciting adventures will you have? It's all up to you. Your adventures are right around the corner. May they shine bright. Alright, well it looks good. The more I see the, about this game, the more I want it, and yeah, it's just around the corner, like about a month away from now, a little bit over that. Five weeks, I think, roughly, five to six weeks. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this, it looks great. Um, let me go back real quick to look at something, it is... The rare Terra type is now part of the team. I did notice something near so, the end here. You think? While you were getting a look at these four trainers' journeys... Like, what's going on with that third picture, like this one here? I don't know, they're like, and is that a cutscene or something? Did you spot a glimmer of something that could be- Yeah, I'm guessing that's a cutscene, like something's going down or whatever, but yeah. That that was the one that caught my eye, I was like, wait a minute, what's going on there? Like, they're in the storm and they're like, being dramatic. Anyway, yeah, it looks good. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a pretty fun game. I'm gonna try my best to get several friends to play with me on day one of release. But I feel like it's going to be... Here's the thing about a game like this. I'm not going to play it until I stream the night it comes out. And there's a very good chance that the first couple hours of the game are going to be like, you know, story and tutorials and whatnot before the game actually lets me do online stuff. So I may have to do like an extended part one where I like go through all of that and then I spend the next few hours playing online cooperative with like friends. So I'm going to have to see if I can get that done and see if I can figure that shit out. I'd also like to, you know, like do some online trading and see if I can get any cool stuff from that because that's always been one of my favorite things. Like the wonder trading or whatever it's called where you just like do random trades with people. I always thought that was a really cool feature and I'm hoping, I think like, 
they seem to indicate that that's something that you can do in this game as well. So yeah, I will play the new Pokemon game very soon. I'm getting Violet, by the way, so that I can get the the futuristic purple dragon because that one is the one I think I would like more. Right, I don't have much else to say, but yeah, I hope you guys look forward to me playing that in the near future. Thank you.